I'll start with what compliance doesn't look like because for me, what we're seeing in this space is very similar to workplace bullying a number of years ago. And for some businesses are probably still doing it today, but it's the policy. You know, I have a policy, um, bad person, don't do bad thing and everything will be all right. Um, and as you've already mentioned as well, the other focus that businesses tend to take is we will um, remove bad person from workplace and then everything is um, perfect. You know, we carry on. Um, so that's compliance does not look like that. So I would really like to see a shift in that and we're seeing a little bit, um, but I think what we'd like to see particularly for um, for sexual harassment, no different to other psychosocial hazards, is that focus on work design, is that focus on consulting with your workers and asking them, you know, you, you're, are you experiencing this? Are you, um, how should we address this in the workplace? Having that open dialogue. I think we've got you know, we've got an we've got the Model Act, we've got regulation now. So that's been in place since for us anyway, since October 2022. And it's it gives you quite um, a prescriptive list. It's not it, it includes a number of factors to consider. So we'd like to see workplaces going, okay, it's not just sexual harassment, there are other factors, there are other psychosocial hazards that accompany uh, sexual harassment and there are lots of drivers that we've spoken about already today, we'd like to see workplaces actually addressing that. 